Looks like it's gonna be another horror level. <coughs> David Ree, May 14th, 2027. Soul Cloud something diary. Dev diary, maybe? Soul Cloud servers overloaded. The team something something. As they can keep the servers online, something, something. Residents being put on and people visiting is something. We never expected it to be this popular. A mix of hate mail and thank you mail has been pouring in and is partly the reason why the servers can't cope. It's an eclipse to the bottom. Memories with 0% totality resulting in anomalies. Empty spaces that we've labeled as zero memories. I've made these accessible to maintenance staff in case of memory recovery at a later stage. Also, before I forget, because of the server overloading, memories are temporarily only available to view as 2D renders. Hopefully we'll be able to fix this once the server issues have been sorted. Looking for any ducks. Uh, what? I just tried to use the radio and it just pulled a book. I... okay. I'm scared, good job. <laughs> some, of the, some of these attempts to scare me are just comical. Look, some books made a faint rumbling noise in your direction. Oh my god. Hear another radio nearby. Am I supposed to be careful now? Where's that even open up? I don't even know where that opened up. Open up a pathway. Where the... It's going in a circle. Oh, it's here, isn't it? Yeah, let me see if I have to actually avoid her. Whoa, what the hell did I just see? Okay, I can't see anything with this off, so... Hmm. I, I didn't see her light. I mean, I did see her light, but I don't see it now, so I don't know if she's actually patrolling or if she just left. Wait, so, where where did that just open? It's obviously not in here. Okay. of your kind killed me recently. That wasn't pleasant. And another one of your kind tried to kill me. 
Actually, no, now that I think about it, they both killed me. They both pounced on me. What the? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You go to the end of a hallway and it just falls on you and you have an instant fail state and you have to do the whole thing again. Okay. Or does it come back partially unlocked? Okay, it looks like this stuff is still unlocked, thankfully, but what the hell? I mean, come on. Come on. Alright, that was next to the flower, which is over here, right? Mm hmm. I see you, duck. Madison Jones, Soul Cloud Dev Diary, May 14th, 2027. I don't know what happened. I thought we were prepared for a disaster like this. If we don't start shutting down the servers, the residents will start corrupting and I know Astrid will be at risk. I can't lose her again. Maybe this is the result of illegal access to the cloud? We need to update Saren as our best defense against intrusion. D. Must have been David Ree. Alright, so the word it's from illegal access to the cloud. Hmm. Seriously, those those sorts of instant fail states are just waste of my time. Just just an utter waste of my time. I don't even know where I unlocked anything. Uh, here? What, what is this? The strange looking spot. Oh, right, because that's where it fell down. I was thinking that's where I died, but then I thought, oh, maybe it's not because, well, it doesn't look the same. But it doesn't look the same because it's already fallen down. So... Right, the pathway just isn't over here, is it? No. Okay. Great, gotta hunt it down. I love mazes so much. They're amazing. Have I gone this way? No, I haven't. Oh my god, books. Looks like the final place, but where is it? Hmm. Okay. Alright, out of that stupid hellhole. I see you, ducky. I'll get to you later. 
Hmm, there's another one. Astrid Patterson dies again. Oh, what a depressing headline. What a depressing event. The Patterson family mourns the second loss of Astrid Patterson in the tragic Soul Cloud crash last week. Astrid, a member of the original Mystery Foundation team, was remembered by her family as having a heart of gold, being extremely talented, and ultimately was taken away from them too soon. She originally died from leukemia in 2024. Madison Jones, 1st of December, 2024, Dev Diary. Subject 99, Astrid Patterson. Supervisor David Ree. Upload was a success. No errors were encountered. Data scan complete. No errors. Subject 99, residing comfortably in her new home. Seems happy. Personality is stable. Memory upload complete. Memory stable. Visitor testing stable. 100% successful. Let's see, memory origin. And then mainframe, and then user's soul village slash city. Which is where I've been going to. There's another duck. Notice, out of order. <coughs> Department of Business, Enterprise, Technology, and Science. Wales Interactive. Hmm. I believe those are the developers of the game. Digital Development Fund, application for funding. Let's see. Applicant Business Details, Soul Cloud, Mystery Foundation, mm-hmm. Contact names for discussing this application, Madison Jones, and David Ree. Looks like they're applying for funding. Maintenance personnel only. I'm not supposed to be in here, and I don't care. Oh god. Well, this looks like a puzzle. Boy, does it. It's not about the colors, or the color, but the letters and the number. What? Those are gigantic books. The letters and the number. The letters and the number of what? Hmm. Well, let's press one and f figure out what happens. Okay, so just change this color to any that you want. Right, so this one's red. And they default to red, this one's blue, and they default to blue, and this one's green, and they default to green. The color, but the letters and the number. The letters and the number of what? I see blue and red going into here, but no green. But he said it's not about the colors. The letters, the letters of what? Is it related to this? The letters and the number. The letters and the number. Is a telephone number? But it's too many digits. Ah. 
I don't know. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven. Actually, oh god, wait, never mind. Hold on. Wait. The letters and the number. I just realized there's three here, and four, and then five. Which makes for twelve. Hmm. There's eleven numbers in the telephone number. Twelve. Twelve. Right, so the beginning of the telephone number does have a 5 block, and then of course there's 2, 3 blocks, but there's no 4 block. The letters and the number. Well, there's other bits of text. Let's see. Resident number. 1, 2, 3, uh, 5. Well, there's 10. Well, there's 10, and then there's the subject. Subject 99. Which would make 12. Between the subject and the resident number, but... What would the numbers actually mean? I doubt that has anything to do with anything. Okay... I feel like I'm going to be stuck on this one for a while. For a really, really long while. Why can't I use it? Wait, why can't I use you? I've been denied the right to read the duck. Alright, well, I'm going to work on this for a bit, and I'll come back when I find something. Alright, I have no idea what's going on, so here's what happened. It's been about 20 minutes that I've spent working on this. Uh, and I've just been staring at this. It's not about the color, but the letters and the number. And I've just been trying to work that into something usable. I'm assuming they're talking about the letters and things like this. The letters and numbers and things like that, and this. There's stuff like the resident number, the subject number, and things of that sort. And my leading theory, or hypothesis rather, is that something like the telephone number, 07893, and then 627, and then 822, if you notice it's separated into blocks, and the colors in there, there's, there's a row of three buttons, and then there's a row of four buttons, and then there's a row of five. And I was thinking, maybe something like the telephone number, maybe the, the block of five numbers, 07893. It's telling you how many times to press each button in the five row. So for the one that has five buttons in it, you'd press the first one zero times, the second one seven times, the third one eight times, and so on. But that didn't quite make sense because, well, as you see in the telephone number, there's a group of five, and then there's two groups of three. Where's the group of four? It's not there. So then it started to get more and more desperate. <laughs> it um, transformed into something that I'm pretty sure is not the solution. I thought, okay, I could actually make this. I could actually make the 627 into a 4 block of numbers. If you look above at the postcode, there's a 4. It says 4FE, and the 4 is in place, whereas if you... The 4 is in place where if you move it down, it'll be in front of the 6. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe that's... You know, that'll make it a 4 block. But that's kind of reaching, right? And that's what I thought. And then I started entering it into here. And the thing is, before I even finished, it accepted the combination. And everything turned blue. I don't know why. Which means that my solution was not right, because I hadn't even finished entering it. However, somehow I simply accidentally stumbled upon the solution, and I don't even know what it was. In other words, I have no idea what just happened. However, 
And then I was thinking, okay, if I just randomly stumbled upon the solution, then is it really easy to get the solution? Just by mashing them? So what I just did is I mashed these. And, um, yeah, that completed it too, just by mashing them randomly. Which, I have to admit, is not very, uh, it's not a very satisfying way to solve a puzzle. However, I've already spent 20 minutes on it, and I was about to use a walkthrough, because I don't know what the hell to do. So let's go back to mashing for the final one, and see how, see how long it takes. <laughs> There we go. Took a little bit extra time, but I realized... It, it, the only missing color is green. So I just set them all to green, and that did it. I I just spent 20 minutes on that puzzle, and my proposed solutions, which seemed far-fetched, didn't even work. And I ended up just solving it by bashing my head against the wall and brute-forcing it, it, and it turns out that's actually really easy to do. I... I'm done with the puzzle, but I still don't even understand what you're supposed to do. It's not about the color. Apparently it is about the color, because you simply need to set them all to one color. Just a different color. I don't... I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Is you gonna, like, bash through the ceiling? Hi, Saren. Welcome back, Madison. Well, welcome, welcome. You've come far, but your continued existence can no longer be tolerated. All your power and success, and you still have learned nothing. I give you one last chance. A chance to make amends for past transgressions. A chance to do the honorable thing and just give up. The decision before you should be clear. Now, make your choice. So I am Madison. That's what I thought. What in the hell is up with the shadows there? It's like inverting the light. That was an interesting little boss speech, I guess you could say. And by that I mean completely cliched, but anyway. Let's look around. Oh god. Go back. What? Master reboot. That looks like a large version. This looks like the source for where all those creepy messages came from. I think it was made out of clippings from this. Ugh. Really disgusting. Why? Why is there an arrow pointing to the fish and it says fish? <laughs> what is that about? Callie, 2016. It's actually a really good piece of art. Madison Jones. It's all my fault. Astra died again because something something. This. I should have seen this coming. Poor something. Know how she's going to react. I can't tell. She'll destroy me. She must never know. But I must. I will attempt to revert to an older version, but they all seem corrupt. I don't think I can get her back. Please, Callie, forgive me. There could be a trace of her in resident number 093, but Mystery Foundation rules state I cannot interfere with residents under no circumstances. As much as I would like to continue looking for her, I just can't take the risk. And by the time I find the resident, I'll either be found out or I'll run out of time in the cloud. I should have fixed that problem years ago. 
Run out of time in the cloud. Oh yeah, the limit, the time limit's four hours, right? Hmm. So I'm attempting to get Astrid back. So then why does Callie seem to be trying to stop me? Or is it Callie? Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not sure now. I saw in a dream that my sister had been cursed by the creators, and they took her from me. In this dreamlike reality, I have invoked the goddess of death against them to kill them and erase them physically from history. There's Kelly. Wait, so is this my this is my choice? She said you have a choice. I didn't know she actually meant it. Okay, so hopefully I'm reading this correctly. This is greenish, right? So this one will take you home. And the red ones are the ones that allow you to continue. So this is the one I want to do if I want to piss off Saren and continue on. Of course I'm going to continue. Further down the rabbit hole, yep. What if this game actually has multiple endings? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. I want to read them all. Oh my god, I hate mystery so much. Lost all my data. Seems like I'm spending more time in the cloud than in real life. Going to... Going to speak to my lawyer? Anyone else planning to sue Mystery? Hold on, there's one with a strawberry on it. Strawberry, come back! Come back, Strawberry! Oh god. Oh god. Uh, looking to expand my... S uh, look... Ah, uh, forget it! Like we got some platforming. Nah, I want to read more of those, though. Ah, screw it, I'm going to read them. I don't... I don't know about this. Bringing bed dead people back to life? Creepy. Besi but <laughs> Besides, it's not really like, like it's them. It's just some digital copy. I don't think the Soul Cloud is very safe. Has anyone checked their privacy policies? Why hasn't anyone visited my city yet? Guess my memories are too boring. <laughs> That's from I Love Dinosaurs. <laughs> Aww. Mr. Onions, just another evil corporation, but they're make. But they're making zombies or something. Uh, not quite. Sugar Plum. Turns out my boyfriend. Turns out my boyfriend snuck into my. <sighs> Turns out my boyfriend snuck into my part. <laughs> Fuck! Sugar Plum, come back! Stuck into my part of the cloud to check up on my mem memories. He's in so much trouble. Yeah, that's a dick move. Oh god. Ah. Oh. I thought it was gonna be all MLG and just like one shot the whole thing. Nope. Nor am I going to two-shot the whole thing. Look at this. Just immense pillars. 
stretching off into the sky and you can't even see the top. Alright, where, where am I going? Whoa. Here, I guess. Do these move? No. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Alright, looks like we're going deeper in. What the hell is that? What are those things on the wall? Is someone trying to stop me? Because you're not doing a very good job. Mystery unveils Soul Cloud. Must be about to happen. So, yep, I believe that was the last memory. Okay, so now what if I... I think I've finished the center thing. Yeah, I, I guess I have all the, the keys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's this going to do? I wonder if we can actually get different endings. I wonder what's different by my choosing to go deeper. Let's go. Heck am I? This looks glorious. It's like I'm on some grand quest here. In an ancient temple. Ooh. Pretty oh, actually that looks horrible if you look down, but Oh, I need to replicate the shape down below, don't I? Or maybe I just need to open them in order. So it looks like one blocks the other, but what's around here? Hmm. 
nothing. <laughs> Version 0.0.5, .0 that's pretty early. Alright, looks like this one... Whoa. Oh, you can fall through. Looks like this one's on top. Mm-hmm. And then this one... Wasn't expecting that. What have I done? I've made reverse water come out. Oh, whoa. What is this? Hmm. Is that a good thing? I think so, yeah, because if it's stuck in their hands, I guess I can't lift the gate. Let's see what these do. Sounds like it's timed. Alright. Do I just need to do it faster? There we go, okay. Let me get through, let me get through. Ah, okay. Alright, hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Continuing on. What is up here? Oh. <laughs> I guess I'm not going up there. I'm going down here, look at that. Oh, light shafts. Beautiful. Go towards the light. Towards the light! Nicholas behind me. This is back where I started. Yeah. Right back around where I started. Back to the waiting room. I could have sworn this street lamp was on the other side of the door. I'd have to go back and look at the video to make sure. But I could have sworn it was on the left side. I don't know, maybe I'm just misremembering. This place is still exploded. I can't examine it. Mind the gap. That didn't sound good. What the hell was that? Oh. L lasery thing? I just disappeared? Hmm. Mystery Foundation.
five. I think I need to write that down. Because I see others. Four. Okay, I don't know if that's a code or just a countdown of some sort. Alright, five, four. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Wait, I don't die going down here? Oh, no. Saren.exe. Is there anything down here? No. Three. Okay, it does just seem to be a countdown. Five, four, three. Tiki Lounge. Six. All right, six, five, four, three. Or three, four, five, six. All right, where does this take me? Whoa. Oh, God. Alright, there's some serious puzzles to solve here. Can I fall? No, I can't. Whoa. Get out of here, green thing. Right, so I think you're supposed to remember... Remember them? And then replicate them? Yeah... How are you supposed to... There's no way I can remember that, I'd have to take pictures of it. Literally take pictures. Alright, well this is gonna take some serious puzzling. So on that note, I'm actually going to end this episode here, and I will come back to it, and I will crush this puzzle into the ground. Probably by simply taking pictures of the screen. There's no memory like a picture memory. Much more perfect than human memory. Anyway, alright, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.